realizing that the transatlantic ocean crossing ships from the West African countries to Charleston, South Carolina, is something that happened. Because of its story of historic importance to today's body of knowledge, it will happen again. When we retrace history, this history becomes fresh and alive, actually going over where the ancestors went over. They're stepping, sailing over these times and places is an ultimate learning experience. The routes of the transatlantic slave crossing are many. Brazil, South America, which received 50% of all the African people replaced. The Big Caribbean Island, Cuba, Hispaniola, Haiti, Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico, Jamaica, perhaps can account for 30%. With Medico, Central and South America, Chile, Peru, Colombia, etc., bringing up the other half. Less than one small number, a double digits, say 8 to 15 percent, most landed in Charleston, South Carolina. With the amazing fact that two ships directly left Amina, Ghana, Gold Coast, West Africa, and sailed directly to Charleston Harbor, South Carolina. Documented evidence from the Transatlantic Slave Trade Database. Fact. The ancestors came in slave ships, and now their descendants will be making that same crossing, merely removing time and space by four to five hundred years. Only twenty or more generations later in this epic world historical event. The parade of the ships that make this ocean crossing is the story told in the future. Ocean cruise ships, freighters, cargo, expedition charter ships, etc. will be used in our story of retracing the route of the Nino Castle to Charleston, South Carolina. The largest ocean-going cruise ships company will see profit, the doability of just a business plan that will, that will continue on an amazing breakthrough conceivably equaling that of the Hodges to Mecca of the Middle East, whereas, whereas millions of people make their annual trip in an enactment on the recognition of sheer belief of their religious history. The millions of descendants now living in the New World will, will certainly see this transformative event of retracing their transatlantic path passage as an epic event in their lives as bona fide discoveries of who, what, where they came from as reparational ideology in their lives and life of the most historical people. The mid-ocean point in the cruise were recognized memorials, dedications, the point of libations, meditations all to the ancestors. The spirit of the moment is with all those who acknowledge historical undertakings by being a part of history, which will be this moment. Now, on to Charleston, South Carolina. A brief history, Charleston, landfall. Charleston was one of the main ports of entry for slaves entering America from the African West Coast. Fact. Charleston processed nearly half of all slaves coming into America. Massive waves of African, immense slave labor and wealth was a critical role and growth of Charleston and a tribute to the majority black population of the city of Charleston, being practically one half the population in all of its recorded history. During the peak period between 1883 and 18. 07. Ex an estimated 100,000 West Africans were brought through the war. It is sacred ground for the auction blocks and the history of mass casualties. Thousands sold and died. The importance of Charleston is in its early history. By 1860, there were 4 million slaves in the USA and 40,000 of them 10% of the population live in South Carolina. Africans made up 57% of South Carolina state's population. So it seems as 
if a proper ending to our story is ending. But now, further stories continue, beginning with the IAAM, the International African American Museum, built as a building on the sacred hollowed ground of the old Gaston War, will be an interactive gallery in the development of humanity, contributions to the broader society. The organization will sound and rally the people's international voices into one of the oldest cities in the Palmetto State. Restating, the IAAM is cutting edge educational pursuit in important areas of research, markets, and foundation. A new chapter is now in the winds. What now is needed? What is needed now is simply doing things of action, making it happen. One of the defining stories of this visual project can be visualized as the opening at the opening of the IAAM the International African American Museum. Aspicuously built on the hollow grounds of Gaston War. Imagine coinciding with the opening ceremonies of the IAAM. A sail ship arriving in the harbor after a transatlantic crossing. It will be a future story told by the storyteller. For now, it is the whisper of the wings on the winds of our ancestors and the descendants listening and flying back to their nests.